Hi guys, it's me. How are all of you? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. I hope you are keeping your mental sanity. I am okay and um, I'm here with a very exciting video um, because I made a very naughty purchase. Um, I really wasn't inspired in the whole fashion department, beauty department because you know how it is. What's the point in buying when you can't wear your beautiful things out? I mean, I bought a new handbag a few weeks ago and I mean, as much as I was excited about the bag, I'm not using it because I'm not going anywhere. So I thought, you know what? I'm not going to buy anything fashion related because then it's worst. Because then you feel like you want to wear it, you want to go out, you want to take pictures with your new purchases. Today, I applied makeup for the first time in weeks. I think the last time I applied makeup was when I last filmed, actually. So, yeah, it really feels good to feel a little glammed up. And, yeah, anyway. Let's get right into it. I bought the new iPad Pro uh, 2020. Voila, here she is. I got the um, uh, I got the 12.9 inch uh, version, so the bigger version. I was very, very debated between the two sizes because choosing the size when you don't have them right in front of you is kind of difficult, but knowing me, I, I always like the bigger version, okay, if whatever. Like the iPhone, for me, it has to be the Plus or the Max. And same with the iPad. And just for reference, if like me, you want to get the iPad Pro and you don't know what size to get, the 12.9 inch is very similar to an A4 paper size. Okay, that's it. I placed the order actually a couple of weeks ago and it took a long time to arrive. I'm guessing because of this whole situation, everything is very much delayed. So yeah, it actually arrived a couple of days ago and I still have to, you know, get into it and uh, uh, enjoy it. But I wanted to film this video because I wanted to share with you guys the initial setup of this iPad, show you guys the apps that I immediately downloaded. And yeah, just talk to you guys through why I decided to buy this iPad, etc, etc. I've been wanting the iPad Pro ever since it launched, actually. So it's been a few years now. Because I like the whole, you know, Apple Pencil, the fact that you can draw. And I'm not much of a creative person at all. I mean, numbers speak to me more than a beautiful piece of art, okay? I'm very, very insensitive when it comes to art and creativity and stuff like that. What can I say? It's just I'm, I don't have an artistic side. But um, nevertheless, I wanted to give the iPad Pro a try because I want to um, use this for productivity reasons. Um, I just feel the need. I feel the need to have a, a dish, um, an iPad on which I can take notes, on which I can work if I'm not at home and I have the need to do some work and um, I can't do that with any other devices. I mean, I can't bring my, my, my MacBook Pro because it's, it's, it's not practical. I have the, high, the iPad mini, but it's an old version and I, I have an even older version of a regular iPad. So I just wanted to get something new, okay? Right, so let me show you all the things that I downloaded and my setup. Oh, and yes, I did get the black uh, smart folio. Um, why? Uh, why didn't I get the pink one? Well, because when I was looking at the pictures on the Apple website, um, I really didn't like the shade of pink that was available. I thought it was a very, like, washed out, pale pink with no rhyme or reason. No sense of life, really. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get the black and decorate it, personalize it with some stickers which I already got on Etsy and I can't wait for that to arrive so that I can, you know, make it cute and girly in my style. And also another piece that is missing, it's actually crucial and we'll get more into that um, when we talk about notes, is the paper-like screen protector. Um, I ordered that the same day I got the iPad Pro, but it hasn't arrived yet. Actually, I don't even think it has shipped yet because of all the situation and uh, I don't even know when it's going to arrive but that is actually something that I'm waiting for because I think you need that when you use this iPad with, with the Apple Pencil you definitely need that so yeah but we'll, we'll talk more about that when I talk about notes so start filming on the iPad 
three, two, one, go. So, this is my lock screen. Uh, I really, really liked it. I found it on Pinterest and I thought I was inspired. It was love at first sight. I actually downloaded, downloaded, bleh, I actually downloaded several uh, pictures from uh, the, from Pinterest, but this one just, I like this one. So for now, this is what we're going to have. And then you unlock the iPad and this is my first screen. The background on this screen also I got on Pinterest. And so far I just have two pages. And let's start from the top. I have settings, FaceTime, messages, calendar, watch and photos. Just the regular. I also put all the Apple like apps in this folder. These are the ones I just do not use and I thought let's just put them away. But these ones up here I think I might need so I left them there. Um, camera, notes, contacts. Contact is actually one that I could put in that folder away because I don't think I'm going to need it. Anyway, Facebook. This is my personal Facebook so I'm not going to open it. Messenger, Twitter. Twitter was actually an app in which, which I didn't know whether to download or not because I have Twitter and I never go on Twitter, ever, ever. So I don't know, it's just there, but I don't really need it. Then we have YouTube, which I have to say, the YouTube layout on the iPad is actually very, very nice. This is my channel. If you're not subscribed, please, please do. These are all my videos. And um, yeah, so these are all my videos. And this is YouTube. Then we have the YouTube um, Studio app, which is the app for um, creators. Basically, you can answer comments quickly or change the thumbnail of a video. So yeah, that's an, the app for um, like organizing your YouTube channel. Then we have Pinterest. Um, I'm not big on Pinterest when it comes to organizing, you know, dashboards and stuff like that. I just go on Pinterest when I want a picture, when I want an image, when I want a background, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, this is my page with all the things that might inspire me and I really, really like. I've been downloading a lot of pictures uh, from Pinterest recently. So that's that. Spotify. Use Spotify a lot. Not so much on my iPad, but mainly on my phone. But you never know. I have it, so I downloaded it. Um, I'm, I don't really have many playlists. I just mainly have one, which are my, with all my favorite songs. And um, I just keep adding up to that playlist. And this is it. In fact, you can see it's like, I don't know how many songs, maybe 300 or 400 songs, but yeah. And then um, I recently listened to the Pearl Harbor <laughs> uh, original soundtrack. Yeah, I know. And then what did I see? Pussycat Dolls. And then I like to listen to all the compilations, like playlists already made here on, um, on Spotify. And they're pretty good, I have to say. I always discover new songs from the uh, Spotify playlist. So yeah, that's that. Netflix, yes, thanks God for Netflix, I have to say, especially now that we are at home a lot. What have I been watching? Let me tell you. La Casa di Carta, or in Spanish, it's La Casa de Papel. Guys, if this series is uh, translated and dubbed in English, please, please do yourself a favor and watch this series. It is that good. It is super, super hyped and it's, it's been very, very successful in Spain, in Italy as, uh, as well. And I, I love this series so much. I've been hooked. And yeah, I also just finished Unorthodox. It's a mini series. It's really good. I enjoyed it. Apparently it's inspired by a book. So I, I'm pretty sure it's a true story. So it's a good series. Then, oh yes, Riverdale, of course, why not? Riverdale is actually a series that I started watching when the lockdown started. And here in Italy, we are on season three. I know that you guys in the States are very much ahead. We are just on season three and I enjoyed it. In the beginning, I was like, oh my God, am I seriously going to watch a whole 22 episodes of uh, uh, Riverdale? in which they are playing a game, like the whole gargoyle kind of game. No spoilers, don't worry. 
But uh, yeah, so I wasn't really into the, th the third season initially, but then I got hooked and I loved it. So Riverdale was also good. What else did I watch? But, okay, obviously Ozark uh, season 3 just arrived. I haven't watched it yet. Because in order to watch Ozark, I need to be in the correct frame of mind. Ozark is very deep, it's very intense, it's very dark. And right now, I cannot handle deep, intense and dark. So yeah, I'm going to put that on hold for when I'm... when I feel like watching it. Yesterday, I actually started this one. Self-made, like the, 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 the life of Madame CJ Walker. I, I like this actress so much, so in whatever series or film she's acting, be secure that I will watch it. That's all for Netflix. Then we got the Internet Movie Database, which I have, but I haven't been um, using that much because, I mean, God knows when the cinemas and the theatres will reopen again. The Apple Store and the App Store. So yeah, just you cannot not have a device without these two uh, apps. And then we have, okay, now we start with the, the interesting part. The, the, the productivity, artistic side of this whole new iPad Pro experience. So, Procreate. Everybody talks about Procreate when they get the, 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 the iPad Pro. So, I got Procreate and I cannot draw to save my life. But the whole reason why I wanted to get Procreate is because I wanted something to personalize my videos, you know, uh, like intros and outros and the little writing on the side with my Instagram, uh, profile details, stuff like that. And there was only so much I could do with iMovie. Actually, iMovie is a very basic um, app for editing videos. So I wanted to step up my game and make this whole filming experience a bit more exciting because I feel that that's also another reason why I stopped filming because yeah, I mean, as much as I like to talk to you guys about fashion and makeup and stuff like that and tech, obviously. But then when it comes to editing, I was like, blah, I've always hated editing and maybe that's the reason why. So I thought maybe if I start to, you know, invest in apps and in new things, then the whole experience might be a bit more fun and enjoyable. In fact, I also bought a new camera. I got the infamous, because everybody and their mother have the Canon G7X. I got the Mark III. Boy, is that camera expensive just for being a compact camera. But still, I mean, me, being a YouTube creator, I mean, I have to have the best of the best. So I got that. Also because um, I've, I know that several of you are not so into this whole fish lens camera that I use. And I hear you, I hear you. So I got just a regular camera. So we'll see. I think my next video I will film it with that one. But um, yeah, so... Um, so I started to get creative. What can I say? I did this one for like an intro kind of screen when I start my video. I like the pink with all the shiny glitter at the back. And I mean, I, I, I'm not an artistic person, so I still have to get the hang of it. But yeah, I did a couple of screens and I enjoyed making these things, I have to, I have to say. So yeah, I'm very glad that I got this app and um, Oh yes, this is the one I did yesterday with my Instagram handle. Please follow me on Instagram. So yeah, just some bits and bobs, just some doodles as the community calls them to make videos more personal and fun. Then I got Luma Fusion, which, um, oh, Procreate is a paid app and Luma Fusion is also a paid app and this is a filming a video editing app uh, specifically for iPads I want to say and when I edit my videos on my MacBook I use iMovie which I said is very restrictive and basic but I've seen several tutorials of LumaFusion on YouTube and I have to say um, it's very user friendly should be easy I mean I shouldn't have any problems considering that I'm really quite used to iMovie so I might edit this one, this video on LumaFusion, we'll see, directly on my iPad Pro because I want to use my iPad Pro as like my main device. I won't give up my MacBook because, I mean, MacBook is always MacBook. 
uh, which, are, which is also a reason why I didn't get the cover with the keyboard because I will not get rid of my computer. But um, I want to start editing on my iPad and apparently you can do that. So we'll see how it goes. Then I got Canvas. No, not Canvas. It's called Canva. This is a free app and it's an app that you can use to make picture collages and uh, things like that. I was actually working on one yesterday because I wanted to make ma I wanted to make my own uh, screensaver. So I was just putting a couple of images together and this is what I got done so far yesterday. And I was taking the images just from Pinterest. So yeah, we'll see if I've ever finished that. Right, right, so Procreate, LumaFusion and Canva, we can say that they are mainly creative apps. Now let's get on to a productive app, which is GoodNotes. Um, and now we get into one of the main reasons why I decided to get and invest into an iPad Pro. Um, I work in production and I work in reservoir. Um, I started about a year and a half ago, let's just say two years. Before that, I was in finance. So obviously I've been learning many, many new things. And um, I've been taking many notes. And I take all my notes, actually, I don't have my um, book with me, in the same notebook. And production is one subject, reservoir is another subject. Obviously, they go hand in hand, but they are two different things. So sometimes when I'm doing some work and I want to check back in some notes of production or reservoir, uh, I'm going back and forth, back and forth between the pages to check uh, what I wrote. And it's becoming very frustrating. So I thought, um, well, it would, have been, would be so much easier if I could take notes on an iPad and um, separate each subject uh, in different folders. And so when I need some information, it's more quick and easy. So that's why I got GoodNotes. GoodNotes is also a paid app, but these apps really don't cost that much. I think it co I paid something like 10 euros or nine euros, something like that. It wasn't that expensive. And then there we have it. I made a folder for production, a folder for reservoir, but my whole experience with digital note taking, which started yesterday for the first time, was kind of traumatizing. I have to say, using the Apple Pencil on the iPad screen is not easy because when you write, at least when I write, I find it to be very, very slippery. And in fact, I don't like my handwriting in these notes. But um, I'm not stressing out about that because I'm pretty sure things will get better once I get the paper like screen protector because that's what everybody says. When you get that screen protector, writing is just a better experience because there is more grip. So yeah, I think it will be definitely better once that arrives. But yeah, I don't know when it will arrive and I want to transfer all my notes in good notes at least now that I'm on lockdown because I have that spare time to do that. So yeah, even though it's not the best handwriting and kind of whatever, I, I'm still going to pull through and continue. So yesterday I started with this. As you can see, it's so I've been writing so big because it's very slippery. It's very slippery. Right, so this is what I did yesterday. And as far as the app goes, I feel that uh, you have everything. You have highlighters, you can choose whatever size pen you want. You can choose different colors. You can um, select areas that you ha in which you have written in and move them here and there around the page. So, I mean, it's a very good app. It gives you a lot of um, uh, tools to use when you are writing. So, yeah, that's that. Then we've got Skype, but this is my working Skype. Then we have Amazon, Amazon Prime Video, Kindle. Kindle I don't think I'm going to use because I like reading books. I, re I, I like reading physical books. I have my pile of to-be-read books behind me. Uh, but eventually I know that I will have to start using the iPad or whatever device for reading because my room is full. I have no more space for books. And it, that's that. Then I got this game called Pocket Camp, which is, um, uh, what's the game? Uh, 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 
Oh my god, I'm having a total brain fart. Animal Crossing, good lord. So, um, everybody's playing Animal Crossing. They came out with a new game. And they don't have Animal Crossing for iPad, obviously. It's a Nintendo game. But they have this version over here called Pocket Camp. I downloaded it. I never opened it once. Which goes to show how much I want to use this iPad more for productivity. Not so much for uh, games and even YouTube and stuff. That's not... I don't feel I use those apps as much as the more working, you know, kind of apps. Then I got Lightroom, which is a photo editing app. And, um, yeah. This is a picture I was working on the other day. And it's actually a good app, I have to say. I, I'm, I'm not really good in the whole editing, picture, picture editing. But um, I'm always willing to learn, so... That's why I got this app. It's free, so you can get it too if you want. Then on this page, it's all productivity. We have OneDrive, which uh, I decided to invest in the whole Microsoft Office suite. Um, I got the one in which you pay um, a little bit per month. I mean, it's not that much, something like six euros, seven euros. And the reason why I decided to get uh, the Microsoft Office suite is that as much as I'm an Apple fangirl, I have to say the Apple um, productivity apps suck, okay? I, I cannot use them to save my life. They are just so complicated. So I decided to get uh, the Microsoft op uh, Office apps because I want to use this iPad for work. Um, when I work on the weekends, sometimes I do not want to stay in front of my working computer just in order to wait for an email so that I can send out certain information to all the management. I thought if I have all the key files on my iPad, at least when I receive certain information via email, I can do whatever work remains on my iPad because it's basically basic. It's, it's basically work on spreadsheets, so I can do whatever I have to do on the iPad and then send out the emails. Especially on days like, you know, Easter or Christmas or whenever when I have to go somewhere, usually to my grandmother's house, and um, I can't have the family waiting on for me. So I thought at least I can do whatever I have to do on my working computer, and then the rest I could do like in the car uh, on my iPad, as long as I have, you know, all the the programs that I need. So OneDrive is actually kind of crucial because I can synchronize. I got the OneDrive also on my um, company's computer. So I can um, share the files easily between my device and the computer. Excel, uh, which is my most used uh, program at work. And so I obviously had to download it on my iPad. And yeah, I have to say, it's it's very user-friendly. I thought that using a spreadsheet on a, an iPad might be a bit difficult to use. It actually wasn't. It's very, very uh, quick and easy. Uh, then we have Word, which I don't use much at all, if not at all. Teams also, uh, I just downloaded it because I want to try and see how it works. PowerPoint, OneNote, also OneNote. I don't know why I got it because I'm already using good notes, but because I'm paying for the whole Microsoft suite, I thought might as well get the whole package, right? So I got that, and this is all basically the whole, um, all Microsoft applications. Then as I said, Apple with all the Apple apps that I don't use. And then Acrobat, because once I finish working on these spreadsheets, I have to convert it to a PDF and then send out the whole things to the top management. So that's that. And then down here we have Safari, my personal email, company email, the um, iPad folder in which you can save uh, whatever file you have to save, which is the most important uh, new feature of iPad iOS, the fact that you can actually save files and um, folders in the actual iPad itself. And then, and then the last three are just the recent three uh, apps you used. So yeah, guys, that is all for my initial setup of the iPad Pro. Nothing groundbreaking, nothing exciting, but um, it didn't have to be. Um, I got this device, as I said, for specific reasons, and so far so good. 
Um, I've managed to do a lot of things and I just got it for a couple of days so I can't wait to work more on the device and uh, yeah and that's that I hope you enjoyed this video uh, let me know if you have an iPad or an iPad Pro and which are your favorite apps are there any apps that you think I am missing and especially if you have some suggestions on the whole digital note-taking and using Procreate and ways to get creative let me know I am open to all suggestions. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support and until my next video, bye-bye!